Hola amigos, Jim here from Spanish and Go, your resource for learning real world travel Spanish. And today I'm going to teach you how to type upside down question marks, accents, and more for when you're writing in Spanish for both the iPhone and Mac OS. So let's get started. So first off, I'm going to show you how you type accents on the iPhone. Now typing in Spanish on the iPhone is super easy because you don't have to change any of your settings. All you need to do is go to your keyboard and select the letter that you need an accent for. Long press and you'll get some options. Select the accent that you need, let go, and you're good to go. For upside down question marks, go to the question mark, long press, and you'll get the upside down question mark option. Select that, release, and you're set. Same thing goes for the upside down exclamation point. And for ñ, select N, long press, and you'll see the option for ñ. And if you want to switch your phone to include a Spanish keyboard, which I highly recommend, all you need to do is go to Settings, General, Language and Region, and select Spanish. There you can add the Spanish keyboard, and you'll always have ñ right there on your keyboard. And make sure when you're selecting your accent that you pick the one that tilts to the right. It looks kind of like a small forward slash over the letter. Other languages have accents that go the other way, and that's why you'll probably see that as an option when you're looking at your options for different letters. But make sure that you select the one that tilts to the right for Spanish. And in another video, I'll show you how you can set up your phone for Spanish. Now that I've shown you how to type accents on your iPhone, let's take a look at how you do it on Mac OS. To start, let's take a look at punctuation. To make an upside down question mark, all you need to do is hold Option, Shift, and the question mark at the same time, and you'll get an upside down question mark, just like this. And the exclamation point is very similar. Hold Option, and tap the one key where the exclamation point normally is, and you'll get an upside down exclamation point. So let's take a look at the accents. To create an accent above a vowel, all you need to do is hold the Option key and tap the letter E. You're going to see a little yellow highlight, and from there you can select which vowel you want to have the accent over. Moving on to ñ, hold the Option key, tap N once, and you can see we have that familiar highlight waiting for us to do something next. You just tap the N key after that, and there's your ñ. For the diuresis, the two dots that you'll see over the U in some Spanish words like huero or bilingüe, hold the Option key, tap the U once, you'll see the highlight waiting for us to do something else. Just tap the U once, and there you go. There's the diuresis. For capital letters, hit the Option key, and the E at the same time, and there it's waiting for you to uh, select your vowel. With that, you can hold shift and then the letter you want. And if you'd like to use this as a reference for the future, we'll have this same document available on our website, SpanishAndGo.com. We'll leave a link in the description. So that's all there is to it. Pretty easy, huh? Así de fácil. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more travel and Spanish tips. And if you really like us, don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss anything. I'm Jim from Spanish and Go. Thanks for watching. Nos vemos pronto.